Hey, this is Dan with Putz Ponds and Gardens, and welcome to our YouTube channel, Putz Ponds. Today, we're working on a new project. It's gonna be a 10 by 12 pond, roughly, um, with maybe a 10 to 12 foot long stream up here in Oakland, o Oakland, up here in Oakland Township, Michigan. You can see in my background, as you can see in the background, very natural area and the homeowners have a nice walkout lower level that lower level has got a nice patio to it you know what instead of me describing everything let me turn the camera around and i'll show you what we got going on <laughs> Beautiful brand new home. Owner, homeowners haven't even moved in yet. Landscapers are coming in as soon as we finish our job. So part of any landscape is doing hardscaping. Patios, walkways, fire pits, and of course a pond. So before they can get started doing their landscape plantings, we've got to get our pond in. We've got two, possibly three days, and we need to get this thing excavated. We need, we need to uh, get it all rocked in and fully functioning. So we're gonna get to work today. Hey, look who we got here now. There's the crew. So what we've got here, we've got a 12 foot by 10 foot pond. We're gonna give them 125 square feet, so we'll bump it out a little bit. We're gonna go three feet deep on this. We're gonna do a biological filter there. This goes up on a pitch. So what's gonna happen is because our water level is going to be about three inches lower than here, we're going to have more rock exposed out of water. So it'll be a retaining wall up. Once we raise that up, we're going to try to level out that ground just a little bit. We don't want any of any rainwater, any mulch, any fertilizers from plantings going down into the pond. Because when we have those extra nutrients going into the pond, those nutrients will green up algae. We don't want that. We're gonna level this area out. We're gonna go three feet deep. Twist and turn a stream up there. We're gonna do a 2500 um, Aquascape Signature Series biological filter on the one end. On the other end, we're gonna do a mechanical skimmer. That's gonna be the Signature Series Aquascapes 1000 skimmer. I believe we're doing a 5PL on this. We could be doing a 3PL, uh, 3000 gallons per hour. And that'll be plenty up here. You can hear the birds in the backdrop. This is very natural setting. We've done work up in this subdivision before. Some big homes. Very quiet and lots of wildlife. Lots of deer down in these lower areas down here. Uh, lots of birds are going to come visit this site. And we hope the homeowners really enjoy this in their new home. So without further ado, we're going to get started on this and we're gonna make some magic happen. So, let's get to work. Hey y'all, this is Brian, Puts Ponds and Gardens. Um, I am in a, uh, I'm in a hole, yep, um, started a new construction, new build today in Oakland, Michigan, Township. Oakland Township, Michigan, um, so what we got going is a um pond that is approximately how big 10 by 12 10 by 12 three feet deep so it's uh it's pretty deep um gonna step up the shelf here and show you what we got excavated Ta -da! there's our pond pond there skimmer is excavated skimmer uh waiting for it to come in um be here tomorrow be able to put that bad boy in right there um 
top pink line represents water level. Um, you got shelf going around here, plantings. Um, this deeper part here, we're gonna do a fish cave. Um, they are planning on having some fish, so we'll have it so that way we can rock the sides of that wall up, but also create a uh, safe haven for the fish. Um, stream's gonna come in from right over here. Haven't gotten that carved out yet. Um, got the biofalls set up over there. So it'll start there, drop over here somewhere, come around and then bam, drop into the pond. I like it. Main viewing area is patio right here, overlooking this beautiful property. There's Derek throwing rocks, you know, why not? Um, so we're gonna get the underlayment in. The tomorrow uh, we'll plan to get the skimmer put in, carve out stream, and maybe uh, start rocking this bad boy in. You never know, but uh, we'll see. Hello, it's Brian again with the Puss Ponds and Gardens here uh, wrapping up day number two um, in Oakland Township, Michigan. Um, today we got the pond uh, liner underlayment in, uh, skimmers in, piping's done, biofalls is in, streams carved out, and a whole bunch of pretty rocks moved over for tomorrow so we could start rocking this bad boy in uh, turn you around show you what's happening so there's our pond liner shelf a little shelf right there we're gonna try and do something creative with the fish cave in between the two skimmers in right there piping runs all the way around this side which connects to the pile falls. I'll be trying backing up. As you can see, we got so you got stream drop in right there. So you can have one, two, three, four different drops, all different elevations. Give it a nice little touch. Puts upon stamp of approval. Um, got a ton of boulders, actually more than a ton, but all different sizes really big some of them are almost three footers um that's good because that side of the pond is over about seven feet tall we got to build up to match the existing grade that's coming from the house so big boulders are what we're going to use on that side and throughout the whole pond um tomorrow get this thing rocked in and uh, hopefully finishing it up by Friday. Hey, this is Dan again with Puts Ponds and Gardens back up here in Oakland Township, Michigan. It's crunch time. We've got to get this pond done. And you can see behind me the uh, the Motor City crew is very busy doing plantings on this site. Owner Matt, he is uh, he's under the gun. We got to get this done because the homeowners are closing on this house. Everything's got to be done very very quickly. So without further ado, I'll let you know that we got our part done, and I'll turn the camera around, show you what the guys did. All right, so here's our eight by. 12 pond here with a cascading stream up here landscaping was held off now you can see that the plantings are going to be in here um, they're going to place a couple outcropping stones here to minimize runoff storm water if it rains we do not want water entering into the stream or into the pond itself because see how dirty it is now it'll look like that always and come clean out time it'll be a nightmare to keep the dirt out of the pond even to get the dirt out of the pond. Might be wondering what these white lines are right here. Well, 
we installed aeration system behind the rocks on a shelf the homeowner is moving from their previous home and they're going to transplant their koi from that pond into this pond now again it's cloudy right now but this is three feet deep down in here there's a water lily shelf on the other side motor city landscaping is going to come in and put a couple outcropping stones here on top of ours that's why you do still see the liner here so we're using it as a separation fabric to keep the soils from entering into the pond but once they come in here and crop that off um, they'll trim back the liner and be done with it this is our edge treatment right up and through here all the way around into the pond they're going to be getting rid of the rest of those boulders maybe using them in the landscaping i don't know um, and then sod is coming in here in two days they've got more trees to plant you can see the flags for the irrigation that's going to happen that's it it's a wrap for us and uh hope you enjoyed viewing this project leave your comments below and if you haven't done so already subscribe to our channel stay tuned every sunday right around eight o'clock we'll have a new video for you um hope you enjoyed it have a great day thanks bye so here's a shot right here from the master bedroom with the waterfalls coming down and then down into that the pond what we're going to do is we're going to talk to the homeowner about types of plants where to plant them how to plant them so that way they can get the best out of their ecosystem pond you can see the boxwood hedges that they're going to be putting all the way around here they got a nice fire pit here exposed aggregate patio 